ladies and gentlemen, we mm-hmm. back for the second week mm. of the Liquid Sports Show Bed Sleep segment, right? Just before you go on, congratulations on this. Saturday is amazing win, brother. Yeah, we had some good, good mm. uh, games and tick, tick. Yep. Unfortunately, mm. like you, you can see how the game went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on Sunday, yeah. The editor, <laughs> editor, Moz, Moz broke our heart. tell us, yeah. Like, let, let me tell you one thing. I saw your bed sleep and I was 100% sure. Saturday and Sunday we're going to win. And you know what pains me most is, when you look at the teams that played on, uh, on the, in the league where Moz failed us, yeah. they okay. are most of them that played over 2.5 goals that I feared and went for Moz. So I, I know, it, that's now double. You just double see, you just see six, four, Four, two kind of score lines, and that the, yeah, the team you placed on really scores felt. one goal at 78th minute. I was just like, boy, oh boy, we lost this one. But nine out of ten, or eleven out of twelve, depending yeah. on the number of teams you had, I think is not bad. That is yeah, like, bad. yeah, nine. We had a guy who actually percent. said uh, yeah. he wanted uh, to. He placed actually combined the team. Mm, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think most messed everything. Yeah, but yeah, on yeah. Monday, mm. the team which. Uh, Patel. Mm-hmm. Patel got a lot of money. Yeah. It's Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> That's the only team which messed our wow. money. And you could Bet think slip. that game was fixed by there because there's no way Lukaku is missing those kinds of chances. But they scored two goals. And, and then, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it looks like a fixed match because it looked like they it's didn't want Belgium level. to win. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. On but, Tuesday. Yeah. You did some amazing job mm. on Tuesday. Yeah, Portugal rescued our bet with the last minute winner from Coin Sao. Yeah, a and, very uh, young star. Yeah, initially, Turkey had a very good game against Georgia. Very yeah. interesting game. They gave us three goals to one. We had a win or a win or draw over 2.5 goals. Everything went well. And as we shoot also, today. Yeah. yeah. Also on Tuesday, yes, we yes, had yes. another win yep. uh, on our Telegram, our channel. Telegram so channel. So if you've not joined our Telegram channel. Yes. Please, please do because we're gonna leave the link immediately on the first comment of this video first comment the telegram channel will be there and also in the description section we'll make sure that you're sorted out so that you don't keep asking where is the telegram channel where is the telegram? Yes. we're gonna have we also sorted. have whatsapp for those guys who don't have access yep to telegram mm. and as we, we should, speak yeah we're waiting for today's bets and uh, also thursday bets we're hoping that we're going to get something out of it because now we are two out of four, which is good because I believe if you placed all those bets, you must have profits by now. Exactly. Mm. Now we go straight to the Saturday bed sleep mm. and here I start. I have mm. four teams. Mm-hmm. That is 4.8 plus. Mm. Meaning, five. meaning individual odds for those teams should be higher because four teams odds four. Four teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sounds exactly. interesting. Yes, so let's go. I have three teams from Australian League, mm-hmm. both women mm-hmm. and men. So mm-hmm. we start with the Australian NPL, mm-hmm. and the first team is Armadale, will be taking on Fremantle City, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That is over 2.5, mm-hmm. 1.49 odds. Then later on, at around 11 a.m. East African time, we'll <coughs> see another team from NPL. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we call it Queensland. This is now the Queensland. Queensland. Yeah, yes. Queensland. Redlands United taking on Brisbane City, mm-hmm. over 2.5, mm-hmm. 1.33 odds. Team number three, or game number three on my bed slip, we have Sterling, mm-hmm. not Sterling for the Rahim, eh? mm-hmm. it's Sterling of STI. Sterling, mm. this is from I hope the they are good enough. Western, yes. <laughs> uh, Sterling uh, taking on Path SC, mm-hmm. that is uh, the Western Australian NPL. Mm-hmm. Another over 2.5, 1.46 mm. odds. Mm. And the last, the last match mm. is from the Euro. Mm-hmm. Turkey taking on Portugal, that is over 2.5. 1.68 awesome odds. awesome awesome i wouldn't take anything away from this bed slip and it's for the reason that every tip looks very much possible a hundred percent because brisbane in that league That's should be an over have. yeah portugal and turkey without even having to analyze that game their playing style should give you an over yeah and uh, the first team amadel or something amadel yes, yes. bro I hope we win again this Saturday. Let's see if you can make it two Saturdays in a in row. In a row, yeah. Right, what do you have on Sunday? All right. Uh, contrary to four teams, I have five teams. And some of them also from the same league. Because, you know, right now we only have the Euros and the Norway League going on and the uh, Australian League. So, yeah. I have the first team from Australia. This is the, um, the NPL League okay. as well. Yeah. 
Gung <laughs> Dia Mi Gung Halin United versus Yogali <laughs> over 3.5 goals. Wow. That is around 8 a.m. East African time, so make sure you get that early. And then later on in the Euros, we have Switzerland versus Germany. I went for over 1.5 goals. I feel like it's going to be a tight game. So yeah. at least two goals in the match is good enough. And then we have Alessand versus Rheinheim. This is the Norway Obs Liga and League. And I have over 2.5 goals. And then I have Starberg versus Levanga. This is another over 2.5 league from the same league. And then lastly, in the same league, Valerenga versus Sadness. I have Valerenga to win, or you can also go for over 2.5 goals. But on my bed slip, I used to win because I analyzed I saw Valerenga first in the league or second. And then the team they are playing is Sadness, and they are almost at the bottom and they've been winning at home. So you can decide over or win. I hope. It will go win and over. What do you think? Those are safe, five safe bets. Yeah. Picking Germany versus Switzerland over yeah. one point five. Yeah. Uh, then you played the first team. I don't want to pronounce that name. Uh, <laughs> over three point five. Ugali. Yes. <laughs> if Rock is smiling because mm. it sounds like Ugali. Mm -hmm. So um, over three point five. Yeah. The, the, that's massive call. Yeah. But there are matches which yeah. end for one three sure. one. So there is a possibility. Mm. And I am sure this is now the time, mm. Sunday, mm. we're going to tick mm. green. Let's do something interesting. Right. Give me two of the best tips on your bed slip. Or, yeah, two, because there are four. Right. And I'll give you two from mine. And let's see if it wins. We're going to check in the next video and see if we Brilliant. Win. Yes. Run him. Uh-huh. Over 2.5, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Run him versus Alisson. Over 2.5. Yes. And Germany. Over 1.5. 1. 1. 5. 5. That's my pick. On your side... Portugal versus Turkey over 2.5 goals and that Brisbane team. Brisbane team. So we'll monitor. We we'll monitor those yeah. four teams. Let's see how it goes. If we fail, well and good. But let's try to be like uh, people who know what you're doing. Because last Sunday, if you combine the bets, you lose because of one team from my end. It's, yeah. And it's very painful. So why not try to pick two, two? Let's see how it goes. So we're going to be calling it our selective. Our selective bet for the weekend. For the weekend. Yes, which yes. will be, of course, around doubling the odds. So we hope that if it wins, if, you, if Saturday bets win, Sunday bet win, and then it means we also win on our selective bet. So exactly. let's try that and see. So also take good consideration of that on your side. So that is our Sunday, but let's move to Monday. Do we have anything? Yes, we move to Monday. Mm. Monday, you know, weekday, we just double our stack. Yep. And I just have two teams for the Euro. The first team is uh, Albania taking on Spain. Mm -hmm. So Spain played so well. Yeah. Over 2.5, 1.70 mm -hmm. odds. Mm -hmm. And the last one is Croatia mm -hmm. taking on Italy. Mm -hmm. I decided to go for over 1.5. That is 1.3 mm -hmm. odds. Yep. Um, on Tuesday, we luckily have a number of teams from the Euros as well. So I have three teams. France versus Poland. I expect Mbappe to score and we, okay, France to win this game. So I went for France to win rather than over 2.5 goals, having watched the France game before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Netherlands versus Austria, over 1.5 goals. And then we have England versus Slovenia. I think this could be an easy win for England. So you can go for over or win. But I choose win because sometimes England score one goal. And I also choose win because the yeah. England are defending well. Yeah. Uh, they're and not conceding, attack. but uh, also yeah. attack isn't that good. So expect maybe one or two yeah. goals. It is that so good, but I think the chemistry is still yes, not there. So exactly. you don't expect them. They will wake up and score many goals, yes, but you'd rather go for the win because I think they'll take advantage of playing Slovenia. Yeah. And that will give you around 2.3 plus odds. And that is our Tuesday bet. On Wednesday, you have 2.6, around 2.6235. Mm -hmm. uh, two teams, uh, also from Euro. Yeah. And the first match is Ukraine taking on Belgium. Mm. I've placed over 2.5, that is 1.78 odds. Mm -hmm. And the second match is Georgia taking on Portugal mm. over 2.5, 1.47 odds, a total of 2. Six plus. Yeah, it looks very possible. Yeah. yeah. Someone else can also even play Cristiano to score. I think he likes taking advantage of those kinds of small teams. Okay. Yeah. No disrespect because he's my favorite player, but he might score in that game. Well, um, on Thursday, you know the Euros are now, I think that will be the end of the group stages. Yeah. And now we'll be going to the knockouts. And on Thursday, there's nothing like Euros that day. 
So though we have Panama playing USA, you can go for USA win or over 2.5 goals, but I'll, I'll prefer USA to win the match. Yeah. And then Sandeford versus Hamkam play over 2.5 goals for both teams to score, depending on which one is your favorite. But for me, I'd advise over 2.5 goals. And that is our Thursday bet. So always remember that we give these tips for you to win, not to lose. Yeah. We are always here to make you win. That's why we even have our Telegram channel, the one we talked about in the video. So make sure you click on the link in the first comment of this video. Follow our Telegram, follow our Facebook, follow our TikTok, because we post more tips everywhere but most importantly telegram and whatsapp so right yeah i have like two co not comments i just want to mention names mm. like we have four guys who really appreciated our work on telegram mm -hmm. and they transferred that to facebook mm -hmm. and the first guy is called mm -hmm. i don't know the, I, I've, I haven't checked the country where mm -hmm. they come from no problem uh, so i'll just mention maybe when uh, you mention names you might guess yes, yes. uh Kelesto Ntimane. Mm -hmm. I don't know from which country. He is mm. appreciating us, saying you guys are the best. Mm. And Malik Sang, uh, saying the best in business. <laughs> and Nico, you know Malik Sang? Malik Sang, yes, yeah. Chelsea fan. Yeah, Chelsea uh, fan. One of our best fans, you know. We appreciate yes. you, bro. And we have another top fan, actually. Uh, this is a top fan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Nico Kirui, just saying, wow. Mm. Then the last person is Michael Ndungu, mm. who like, uh, reacted to the emojis. Yeah. This emoji, yeah. clapping. The green one and a hundred percent. Yep. Uh, I think having to appreciate people is a good thing. And also on YouTube, because we also we always call people to come and comment where they're watching from. We have Grevazio Banda. This name sounds like Banda. from Zambia. Okay. Yes. And she's saying, welcome back. Or I don't know if, I don't know if it's a, it, it doesn't matter. We don't want to know the gender. <laughs> okay. He, Can you read it? They are saying, welcome back, Mr. Brian and Vincent. It has been a long time. I missed you. And it's it's good that you are back now to main business. That's good prediction. Continue. I'm with you. Still supporting you. Welcome back once more. We appreciate you. You'd rather add your name there so at least we know. Okay. We have Asi Leo watching from Zambia. Another one from Nigeria called Adesele Joseph. Oluashina. Wow. <laughs> well, so many guys, and we really appreciate it. We also make sure that we usually reply to your comments, and that's it. We also appreciate you so much. And yeah, uh, remember to bet responsibly. Betting is not for the people who are under the age of 18 years, and always take what you can afford to lose. Yes. And we have come to the end of this bet slip section. My name is Brian. You call me Vincentius. And this, this is, is the Liquid Sports Show.